Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create follower ads in LinkedIn. So let's jump into it. So first off, here's an example of a follower ad. I'm logged into my profile, and you can see on the right-hand side, this is a follower ad. The call to action says follow. They consist of a headline, an image. You can choose to have the user's profile image show, and then there's a description at the top. So you can use a template for both the description or the headline, or you can create custom text. And follower ads are really good. Um, if you click on this, I'll go to the company's uh, LinkedIn page and I'll automatically start following them. So that gives uh, them a chance to have their organic content show in front of me. So if you follow a company, you're gonna be able to see their organic content in your feed. So it could be a great strategy for cold prospecting and also for remarketing. So if you have a lot of website traffic coming in to your site from you know different channel sources, Google search, maybe you're running LinkedIn ads to a cold audience, and then you show a follower ad, it could help get them into your organic content and uh, engage more with your brand. So now I'm gonna go into the campaign setup. And first off, I just want to review the objectives that you can use in Campaign Manager for follower ads. So you can use the brand awareness objective or engagement. Those are the two objectives that allow the follower ad format. So I recommend going with the engagement objective because that's gonna optimize for users trying to engage with your ad. And the goal here is to get them to follow your company. So we want them to click that CTA. So I recommend using the engagement objective. Now to set up a campaign, we're gonna go to the campaign section in Campaign Manager and we're gonna to go to create, create campaign. And you can set up a new campaign group if you don't have one already selected here. So I'm gonna call this prospecting and I'm gonna turn off the group objective because we'll select the objective in the campaign. And then you can check your, your start date and we'll click next. And then we're gonna choose the engagement objective and we can also call this the follower ad campaign. And I do use a taxonomy when I'm building out the campaigns for my clients, but in this case, we'll just call it the follower our campaign. And then we ch chose our objective and we'll scroll down and then you can create your audience here. So I recommend always keeping the location to permanent location. And then you can go through and create your cold prospecting audience, or you can create your retargeting audience. So we have our location selected. If you're doing retargeting, you'll click narrow and you'll go into your audiences and go to retargeting and then you can select your retargeting audience. I have a video on how to create website visitor retargeting audiences that I'll put above and that goes over the different options that you have for creating retargeting audiences. So you can select it that way. And then if you're building a cold prospecting audience, you can go through and I'll close that and go to narrow again and you can build the audience based off of different LinkedIn attributes. So for example, we'll do company size of you know two to 50 employees, and then we'll click narrow. So we're gonna further narrow it down and you can see the audience size on the right changes as we adjust this. So that's for the company size and we'll go back to the company attributes and we'll do industry. So we'll say we want to target users in the financial services industry. Again, the audience size lowers there and we'll narrow it down and we'll go into the audience attributes, job experience, let's say job titles. Um, we wanna go after those that are in sales, um, that are sales managers, just for an example. And it brings down the audience again. You might already have your audience predetermined, but this is where you go through and create that. And we're gonna turn off audience expansion. I recommend always keeping that off. And then this is where we're gonna select the format. So we'll click follower. And then we'll scroll down here and these only show on LinkedIn. So you don't have to worry about taking off the LinkedIn audience network. You can set your budget here. I'll put $10 there. $10 is the minimum per day budget in LinkedIn. And then uh, follower ads are only available for manual bidding. So we're optimizing for clicks, engagement clicks. So we'll keep the bid at the low end here. If we try to lower it, let's say to 310, it won't allow us your bid must be at least 510. So we'll keep it at that low level of the range here. It says 510 to 570 per engagement click. So we'll keep it on low end and monitor performance there. And then you're gonna to wanna to select the relevant conversions um, in your account. So if you have any conversions set up, you'll select those. Um, I'll be creating more videos on conversion tracking in the future. And then we're gonna go next and create our ads. So we'll save that. 
and then we'll click create new ad and then you can see here for the ad headline there's multiple different templates that you can choose from some are around like recruitment some are around um, just general following the company you can also click custom ad headline and you can add a headline that's within 50 characters so for for this one we'll just click um, you know first name company is hiring so it's going to pull in the user's first name your company name and then is hiring and then you'll have your company name here and then we can upload an image so you can use your company logo or another image I'll just pull an image in here so I added an image there and then we have this toggled on to use the user's profile image so it's going to pull in their profile image their first name our company name is hiring so it's dynamic and this is what it's going to look like if they don't follow your company already if the audience if someone in the audience does see your ad and they already follow your company you can choose what call to action for them to see so down here where it says call to action you have visit careers visit company visit jobs visit life so we'll say visit company and then for the ad description you can use uh, a template again or you can do a custom ad description which allows you to have 70 characters and you can type in some custom text for here since we said uh, mention the headlines about hiring we'll put the visit careers page maybe at th at the top here so visit the careers page for kindly marketing jane kindly marketing is hiring and it will go to the visit company if they already follow the ad if they don't it will say follow here so again you'll choose your headline your description you can use custom text and then you'll click save ad and then you can easily duplicate the ad here and then you can change it and create another variant so that can be great for a b testing or just trying out different variants and different messaging i would recommend creating at least four to five options so linkedin has some different options to rate, rotate through and you can see which ones perform better which ones get uh, impressions which ones get clicks and engagement so uh, you can also go to this little gear icon in ads in this campaign and click that and you can select from optimize performance or rotate ads evenly i like to use rotate ads evenly and monitor the performance between each of them and you can see which one is performing better and you can also then pause other ones and create other variants to test against the best performing option so that's an option there and then you're going to go to next after you set all that up and you can review your campaign setup here and go through there and then you can click launch campaign so that's how you set up a follower campaign if you have any questions on that please put them in the comment section i'd be happy to help you out and thanks for watching and have a great day